Hello guys, it's Shitkin Plays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. Nani? And as for today we have the adrenaline, the, the review, <laughs> the review of the AMD Adrenaline drivers, in this case the 23.5.2, which are not WHQL signed drivers, meaning that they are not certified by Microsoft, they are optional drivers, but they're still very valid actually, very valid. And by the way, as I say in all my videos, 25 is the year 2025, 3 is the month March, and 2 is the revision in that same month, so the second revision of March. And now we can go to the release notes. Firstly, we start with highlights with new game support for Assassin's Creed Shadows, that was released yesterday, I believe, and The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered. This means that AMD had support for Assassin's Creed Shadows on the first day, since this driver was released yesterday, and we have already support for The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered. And you might ask yourself, well, but what, what does this mean actually? It means that we actually have support for games on day one, and we do have support for The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered that will be released in like two weeks, and we already have the driver supporting that game. And I, be and I believe that happens, sorry for the stuttering, and I believe that happens because this is one of the games, or I believe it will be the first game to support FSR4 natively. And if it does not support FSR4 natively, it will definitely support FSR4 via drivers. But I believe this is the first game to support FSR4 natively, and this is why we get what we get. Extremely early support. As for the fixed issues and improvements, we also have some. And by the way, guys, I just want to tell you, like, have you heard of today's sponsor? Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall, bringing you lots of software deals like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2019 or 2021 with a new Windows 11 design. And for all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 30% off, getting a Windows 11 serial key for $22 and a Windows 10 one for only $15. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. Starting with Incorrect Gamma is exhibited while playing Counter-Strike 2 and using 8x MSAA and Radeon RX 9070 series graphics products. Then we have Intermittent Application Crash may be observed in Indiana Jones and the Great Circle when settings are set to very ultra quality and path tracing is enabled. Users experiencing this issue are recommended to use the default ray tracing settings as a temporary workaround. Honestly, there is not a single card available uh, that is capable of playing Indiana Jones with path tracing kind of okay-ish. At least if you're not using uh, frame generation. So anyways, I guess that m not many people care about that. And another fixed issue is Third-party tools that rely on ADL SDK for detecting ROPS count will incorrectly report 64 ROPS, finally fixed as well. Lower than expected performance may be observed while playing Assetto Corsa Competizione on the Radeon RX 9000 series graphics products. And this is one of the things that I need to test because this is one of the few games where I saw the 7900 XT and 7900 XTX also, yeah, also outperforming the 9070 XT where sometimes they should, sometimes they shouldn't, but this is one of the games where the 9070 XT didn't perform that well. So I'll be testing it again to see if it is working better now. So just for you guys to know, I just tested Ass Assassin's Creed. I just I just tested Assetto Corsa Competizione or whatever it's pronounced like. And yeah, we did have a slight increase in performance. For example, at 1440p, I went from the, um, from the drivers that I had, the 25.3.1, we went from 159 to 166. And of course, it is nothing huge, definitely, but we did have an increase in performance. And in some scenarios, the increase might be higher. So that's it. It's always better to have better performance than worse performance. Intermittent system or application crash may be observed while pressing Alt-Tab during, during gameplay, sorry, on some AMD graphics products such as the Radeon RX 6000 series. Intermittent system or application crash may be observed while using multiple high refresh rate plus 120Hz monitors with HDMI connections, also fixed, and the last fixed issue is Windows Update may overwrite the installed AMD Software Adrenaline Edition with an older version of the graphics driver on Radeon RX 9000 series graphics products, also fixed. And this time we not only have the fixed issues and the known issues, but we also have some developer updates. AMD Radeon Developer Tool Suite RDTS update with support for AMD Radeon RX 9000 series graphics cards is available now. 
We also have AMD FSR 3.1 is now supported in over 110 available and upcoming games. Update your games using the AMD Fidelity FX SDK to have our latest technology, including AMD FSR 4 support. So AMD is actually kind of, I wouldn't say forcing because they're, they're not forcing anyone, but they are kind of luring more developers to use the Fidelity FX SDK, in this case the, the FSR 3.1 SDK, so we can kind of just toggle via drivers FSR 4 into the game, which is quite nice by the way. Although in the beta drivers I had Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 working with FSR 4, and in these drivers, being the 25.3.1 or 25.3.2, Kingdom Come Deliverance still has no support for FSR 4, which is a bummer. And again, I tested it with the beta drivers and it was working quite fine, and of course it was much better in terms of clarity and so on, so on, so on. And the last one is stay tuned for GPU open news feed and social channels for the latest updates for developers. And this is it. But again, since this is not just cotton candies and unicorns, let's go to the known issues. The first known issue is system crash may be observed due to a memory leak when using Steam VR on some AMD graphics products such as the Radeon RX 9000 series. Users experiencing this issue are recommended to turn off motion smoothing in the Steam VR settings. Basically, motion smoothing should be frame generation for VR settings. I guess, don't really know. But, but yeah, if you know if it is frame generation for VR settings, leave the comment in the comment section because as you know, I'm not really much into VR, so I don't really know much about this, these things, Jesus, but I really want to know. So yeah, leave your comment in the comment section. Performance logging notifications from AMD Software Adrenaline Edition may appear while using the right Alt plus L hotkey if Microsoft Windows Display language is not in English. Intermittent crash of AMD Software Adrenaline Edition may be observed while playing Marvel Spider-Man 2 or Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart with AMD Image Inspector enabled. So basically only if you have the AMD Image Inspector enabled, otherwise it's not really an issue. Lower than expected performance may be observed when using YouTube on Microsoft Edge web browser immediately after a driver install. Users experiencing this issue, of course, are recommended to restart Microsoft Edge and relaunch YouTube as a temporary workaround, which is nothing really relevant here, I believe. After using the AMD Cleanup Utility for Windows, the AMD Bug Report tool may appear intermittently during a new driver install on AMD Ryzen 7000 series and above processors paired with AMD graphics products. Also a very niche problem, but it is happening, sadly. Another one is after completing a driver update on certain laptops, users may experience intermittent failures for the integrated camera to start. Users experiencing this issue are recommended to use the AMD Cleanup Utility sorry, for Windows and use our previous recommended driver available here. Another one is stutter may be observed while playing games with some VR headsets at 80Hz or 90Hz refresh rate on some AMD graphics products such as the Radeon RX 7000 series. So basically if you're having issues with these drivers, the 23.5.2 while playing VR and so on, maybe you should consider going back to the 23.5.1 because these seem to have some issues. Installation progress may persistently display 0% while installing chipset drivers using AMD Install Manager and the last known issue from the lots of ones that we have is installation progress may persistently display 0% while installing AMD Chat within the AMD Software Adrenaline Edition user interface after upgrading to an AMD RX 9000 series graphics product. So if you were using an older GPU let's say an RX 7000, RX uh, 6000, doesn't really matter. If you were using an older GPU and then you just go to your, to your computer, just change your GPUs to one of the new ones like the 9070 or 9070 XT, make sure to do a clean Windows, <laughs> clean Windows, make sure to do a clean driver installation because otherwise you might have issues while inst installing AMD chat and so on, so on, so on. So always use DDU or AMD cleanup utility. And well guys, that's all for the release notes. As for my experience with these drivers, well, I haven't tested them for so long. Sadly, I didn't have much time, but I did, but I did test them, sorry, 
for a bit of time and I did notice one thing. I tested Counter-Strike because I saw that they messed with Counter-Strike and those issues with MSAA eight times and so on. So I really tested the game and it seems that in both GPU scenarios, GPU bound scenarios and CPU bound scenarios, Counter-Strike 2 did have a slight FPS increase. It happens for both ends. It seems that Counter-Strike 2 runs slightly better on these drivers, even on an older GPU like the 6600 XT. As for the other games, I didn't really notice anything different, but it seems that again, for VR users, these drivers might have some issues and that's one of the reasons why they are optional, I guess. But um, we do have more interesting scenarios, uh, again, uh, with Counter-Strike with Counter Strike 2 performing better, some fixed issues that were uh, kind of bothering some users. So it is, it is all up to you if you really want to go into these drivers or not. Again, they're optional. They might not appear as uh, available updates, as an available update, Jesus, in your system. But yeah, they are there. You just need to go to Google, search for AMD 25.3.2, and they'll be there ready to be downloaded. So I believe that these drivers are kind of a placeholder for people that have that, those specific issues and most people should just be waiting for the 25.4.1 drivers, I guess. And well, that's all for today's video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share this video. Leave your comment in the comment section telling us, the community, your experience with these drivers, if it is a good experience, if they work well, if they work poorly, and if they work poorly, leave your GPU specifications. Make sure that you're running stock and Again, make sure that you're running your GPU stock because most of the issues that you might have are due to the overclocking profile. So if you're testing new drivers and you're having issues, just put the GPU to stock. If the GPU at stock works correctly, then the issue is your overclocking settings with these drivers because overclocking settings might not be stable with all driver versions. So always take that in mind. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video, guys. Cheers. Head down, Henry. We've got to sneak closer. Head down, Henry. We've got to sneak closer.